Today with us again is Lisa, the animal expert, and she brought a little friend. Lisa, who is this? This lovely lady is Echo. She's a, a female barn owl. She's four years old, and she's lived with us since she was three weeks old. And I see you're wearing a pretty big glove for such a small bird. Uh, why is that? It does look pretty impressive, doesn't it? I know Echo looks all dainty and elegant and very, very beautiful with that heart-shaped face. You wouldn't really know that you're looking into the eyes of a, an expert mouse assassin, really, would you? Um, but while we're looking at her beauty, we might actually miss out on the fact that she's got very, very large talons and very powerful feet, which she uses to uh, crush and pierce the body of those little prey animals, the mice and bulls and shrews that she likes to eat. The glove has a, a couple of um, uses. Echo is a trained barnell. She's trained to fly to the glove. So when she's flying to the glove, she's hunting. She gets a little piece of food on the glove every time she flies to it. It means whoever wears the glove, Echo will fly to. Uh, so of course we do weddings, we go to birthday parties, we visit retirement homes. So there's lots of opportunities for people to have the barnell fly to them. Um, and because uh, even with the fact that we're a lot bigger than mice and bulls and shrews, it would quite hurt us if we didn't have the glove to protect us. But being big humans, we can appreciate her beauty um, rather than the immense hunting skills that she has. So, and mostly mice have to be really afraid of owls, but what's their hunting technique? How do they attack these little animals? They are precision hunters, these ones. If you look at the face of a barn owl, you can see it's a heart shape. Um, and it's basically made of two satellite dish uh, type uh, <laughs> areas. She, she's having a look around at the moment. Um, it's like two satellite dishes, um, which help to focus the sounds of all the little creatures in the undergrowth so they can, they can hear them, they focus the sound to the ears. One of the ears is higher than the other, uh, the right ear is higher, so not only can they figure out if the sound is coming from left or right, but they can work out from a vertical perspective as well. So considering that they fly um, and they have to hunt from above, this is very, very important. They do have good eyesight, it's designed to hunt in the dark, so just till dawn pretty much the barn owl can fly and hunt and um, it can pick up very very small movements in very low light um, but the eyes are actually fixed in the sockets they can't move around like we can um, but they can turn their heads a lot farther than we can thank you echo <laughs> 270 degrees they can turn their heads because they have twice as many neck bones as we do they've got 14 neck vertebrae inside that neck system as well is pretty impressive they've got a very specialized circulatory system um, the skeletal system as well is very, very different to other animals, which means that when they turn their head, they're not going to cut off the flow of blood to the brain, because if they did, they'd be fainting, and that would totally ruin the reputation as a cold blood killer, really, wouldn't it? Thank you again, Lisa, for this amazing demonstration. And for you guys at home, if you want to know everything about owls, make sure to check out our website.